Hello, I believe there's someone in here that I need to force into being in love with someone else. Is it you? Excuse me, sir, are you Elwyn by any chance? Yes, that's right. But how do you know? Well, you see, there's this lady outside who has a crush on you. Huh, <laughs> I'm honored. What's she like? What's her name? Oh, yeah, uh, be right back. I didn't get any of that information. Don't even know this chick's name. We didn't catch your name, ma'am. Oh, that's right, I'm sorry. I'm Nancy, the daughter of this village's green grocer. All right, well. Sup? So. She said her name is Nancy and that she's the daughter of this village's green grocer. Nancy, is it? Oh, well, this could be tough. What's wrong? Unfortunately, I'm very short on time. I work for a Venetian import company and came to this village on business. My job here is almost done and I'm scheduled to begin my return trip to Venezia shortly after. Besides, the president of my company, that my dad, that is, would never allow it. You can't set aside even a minute to at least get acquainted? I'm a little afraid that if I see her even once, it may be hard for me to just leave and forget about her. Give her my regards, would you? I have to get back to work. Honestly, very, very gentle way of letting her down. It didn't work out, huh? Somehow I knew it. What with him being a big businessman's son and me a lowly greengrocer's daughter and all? There's just no way it could happen. But, thanks, but you've done enough. I'll be okay, please don't worry about me. You're gonna have to go get your own, like, anime to make this work out. The F is for Farquad. <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna steal this. A thousand gold! I just took a thousand gold out of the economy of the past to take it to the future. That's really gonna, like, screw up stuff, I'm sure. Welcome to Bishop. Hello, what you got? A type of rapier with a defined, sharper point. A friggin' battle axe. Oh, I don't think I bought the... In the original playthrough, I bought ring mail to put on crest, didn't I? I didn't, uh, and the round shield. I didn't buy it again in this playthrough where I had to redo it. Oven mitts? Mitts with a design that partitions the thumb away from the other fingers. What? Oven mitts? Uh, you're gonna wear oven mitts into battle? It's madness. Well, I'll take the I'll take the oven mitts. Fashionable hat that doubles as protection from the elements. I'll take a I'll take two berets. I got a lot of money. I'll take this iron solid. Sure. Uh, I guess I'll take the kite shield. An amber cloak. Okay. Ring mail. I need two amber cloaks, actually. I'm just spending a lot here. I'm gonna need a gem rod. And then I guess I'm gonna need this fine saber. Alright, I would like to complete my transaction. There goes, like, half of our money. Let's equip stuff. A fine saber. Ooh, significantly better. I have a bunch of long swords. Don't mind if I do. Uh, ring mail, three more defense, thank you. Kite shield, oh baby, there's some defense and a lot of evasion, don't mind if I do. Uh, this bad boy, oh dude, my stats are going through the roof. I should have bought like leather, leather? Leather gloves. Wrong lever! Alright, cool, cool. Mint, gym rod, amber cloak, no shield, beret. Oven mitts, apparently, give five defense somehow. You don't need any of that. And then, this dude's got a Necronomicon? That's wild. Well, you also get an amber cloak. Congratulations. Uh, here's your beret. And that's all you get. Cool. Thank you, Traveler. Thank you, man. Oh, wait, I should sell you some garbage. Like, I don't need... Like, I don't need this saber anymore, this leather armor, this rod, keep my lavender and sage. Lavender is worth three times as much as sage, really? That's crazy. Don't need this, don't need those, don't need this.
All right. Don't need these long swords. Don't need that. That ought to do it. There you go. Thank you for the money. Peace out. Well, oh, you know what? I guess I should try and talk to that guy. Wait, what was that? Was there something sparkling there? Oh, no, it was just like a bug flying around. Oh, he's gone. I was going to try and talk to Elwyn again and try and change his mind or something, but all right, whatever. What's going on in this house? Oh, this is the dog and cat house, right? What about here? This is the grocer? Yeah. I got turned around. Well, I guess we just... I, we're going to go get Sylph, I guess, right out the gate. I want that up there. How do I get up there? How do I get that? I want that chest. I see you up there. How do I steal your stuff? All right, whatever. Where the heck is Lone Valley? Deos can only be harmed by magic. Will your summoning arts truly suffice? I already told you, they're equivalent to magic. So they'll really be able to hurt them? For the last time, yes, which is why we need to go to Lone Valley. Where the heck is Lone Valley? You can't use those summoning arts yet, huh? Yeah, but it's nothing to worry about. The theory is well established. But if you can't summon, what's the point of all those tattoos? Did your attention stop right after I said yeah? <laughs> you know, Mint, you're never without that cap. And you're never without that bandana. Hey, don't forget about my hat. Yeah, my dad gave it to me as a gift. Oh, it's the same for me, except my cap came from my mother. And my hat came from... We have a lot in common, huh? Seems that way. Reality to you two. I'm still here, you know. Poor, poor Clarth. He's already getting super third wheeled. Let's hurry to Lone Valley. Right, but I don't know where it is. On the island across Euclid's East Bridge. I'm going the wrong way. The man we need to speak with lives here, there with his daughter. Words. He holds the keys to magic, or so I thought. Well, that's close enough. Oh, wait, no, I am going the right way. This is east, right? Should be. I saw a bridge over to the west, though. No, 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 this is west. This is east. Dude, east and west always hurt my brain. Yeah, we want that bridge up there. That's the east bridge. West is left. East is right. Dude, look at this sick katana. Ow. The sick cutlass I got. Be gone. Easy swallow dance. Yo, Clark, are you even, like, doing anything, dude? Okay, yeah, he just blew it up. All right, never mind. Sorry I asked. Boop. Do you mind? Don't talk to me about that. Go away. Stupid flying owls. Okay, thank you. I got this. Get destroyed. Yatta! Hey, easy level up. What level is Clarth? Hey, Priestess. I think we got that last stream. Bum, bum. Clarth is only level 9. What a loser. Oh, there's another village up there. Okay, okay. This is probably what we need right here. What is this place? This is Lone Valley. The spirit of wind lives here somewhere. A little bit of folklore. A spirit is said to inhabit every material thing in this world. A special quartet of these called the Four Great Spirits have been confirmed, though much of our knowledge is still theory. All right. So we got the Four Great Spirits, which should be... The Four Great Spirits should be, uh... Afrit, Undine, Sylph, and... No? I think those are usually the four great spirits. Those are the ones that Mila had in Zillia, right? I think. The four great spirits, huh? Yes, that's what the spirits that govern Earth, Water, Fire, and Wind are collectively known as. Yep, that's Gnome, Undine, Afrit, and Sylph. Sylph is, of course, one of them. So we just need to find Sylph now to get her assistance. 
All right, so I wonder if we're gonna run into, uh, if those will be the only spirits in this game, or if we're gonna run into uh, Shadow, Luna, Asuka, Celsius, Volt. Actually, not quite yet. First, one needs something called a rune ring to make a pact with the spirit. I and most others usually refer to them as pact rings, though. We still need to get one. Wait, does that mean you didn't actually invent summoning arts yourself? No, <laughs> Actually, I first heard about them in some ancient documents. After studying them for a while, I created a more efficient process. Wow, all by yourself? That's amazing. Ha! Huh, my pig-headed peers just laughed me out of the university after hearing my thesis. Well, enough about that. I want to speak with the man who lives inside this house. So this game technically takes place, like, centuries after- ooh, a thief's game. Like, centuries after Symphonia, right? So I guess, like, whatever documents he read were probably about, like, Sheena's way of summoning, and now he's in making packs, and now he's come up with some other way of doing it. Very interesting. What if I wear two capes? I'm all caped up. Oh, is it before Symphonia? I thought that Symphonia... Symphonia happens after? I thought that Symphonia happens before. Like, Symphonia is, like, technically supposed to be a prequel to this game or something. Or is it the other way around? It would make sense for Symphonia to happen after? I thought I was always- wait a minute, I actually want to know this. I thought I was always told that Symphonia was technically made as a prequel to this game. There's a book inside Clark's house, I think, that says one of the moons is called Tethiala. Mmm. Interesting. Is Tales of Symphonia a prequel to Fantasia? Google. Do, do, do. It looks like, from what I'm seeing online, there is no confirmation of Tales of Fantasia and Symphonia being a prequel or sequel. It looks like it says it can be either. It was never specifically stated, but that they take place in the same universe. That's what a really quick Google search says, at least. All right, what's going on in this house? Pardon our intrusion, but are you Mr. Bart Klain? And you? I'm Clark, the scholar of magic and spirits. I wish to see if I can forge a pact with the spirit of wind. You'd best wait a while. You know the recent earthquake? For whatever reason, the spirits have since been in an uproar. Because of some stuff that is in this game, it would make more sense that it happens before Symphonia, but I'm not sure completely. Well, I don't know. If this, you know, we'll see as I play. I'll come to my own conclusions. But based off of having played Symphonia, at the end of Symphonia, didn't they, like, did some, did Tethiala and Silveront, like, merge into one location at the end of Symphonia? Or are they still separate worlds? I don't remember. I mean, if they merged into one in Symphonia, but I don't remember if they did or not, then it would make sense that it would have been a prequel to this game, which presumably will only have one world? But I don't remember- it's been so long since I played Symphonia, I don't really remember- and Symphonia also wasn't one of my favorites, so I don't remember exactly how that all went down. But, I mean, if a Google search says that it's up to debate on if it's a prequel or sequel, then it's probably just whatever you want it to be. There's probably no official statement. For whatever reason, the spirits have been in an uproar. It's far too dangerous for a person to go alone right now, so I haven't been able to investigate. Thanks for your concern, but we've got no time to spare. So I'd greatly appreciate it if you could give me the rune ring that you have. Naturally, I'll compensate you for it. I have no idea where you heard about my ring, but if you can help me, I'll gladly give it to you in exchange. What do you ask of us? My daughter went out a few days ago, but hasn't returned. I fear that she went into the valley to check on the spirits. A young girl into the valley all by herself? That's madness. Could be like how Xenoblade 1 and 2 happened at the same time. No, there's no way that's right. It's gotta be a prequel or a sequel. They can't be happening at the same time, because this one has, like, time travel and stuff. That- that makes no sense. A young girl into the valley all by herself? What was she thinking? 
My daughter can be quite reckless, I'm worried. It'd be lousy of us to decline helping you find her. Deal. Her name's Arch. Arch? Archie? Archie? Like the leader of Team Aqua? You'll recognize the girl by her ponytail. No other girl in the world has a ponytail. She's a little rambunctious. You shouldn't have too much trouble picking her out. She's a very conspicuous child. Got it, we'll keep our eyes peeled. Then I leave Arch's safe, Ar Arch's safety in your hands. I don't like this chick's name. I hope she's not a main character. So if you want to find the Spirit of Wind, she's located deep within the valley beyond the suspension bridges. Ah, the Opal Pact Ring, thank you. All right, let's do it. Whoop. The key word is loosely. Fantasia takes place in the same universe, but 4,000 years later, so it can't really be called a sequel to Symphonia. Do you have some kind of official source where you're getting this 4,000 years thing from? If it's 4,000, if there's a source that says this game takes place 4,000 years after Symphonia, then that would mean that this is, technically speaking, a sequel to Symphonia. I mean, I'm sure the games have no actual, like, other than, like, location names and stuff, they, and maybe some references. I'm sure they have no actual relation to each other because, you know, they weren't made to be sequel or prequel to one another. But if they take place in the same universe, that's, like, a super neat thing. Because most Tales of games don't. This boulder's blocking the way in. Yeah, it... It sure is. How are we gonna, like, get past it? Excuse me, sir, there's a boulder in the way? A word of precaution, the valley is full of hazards and other obstacles. I recommend you obtain a pickaxe and a rope to overcome them. You should find them in good supply at the shop in Harmel. Oh, so I have to go buy a pickaxe and some rope. Okay. Is Zestaria considered a sequel to Berseria? Yes. More so, Berseria is considered a prequel to Zestaria. I mean, you're not technically wrong to call Zestaria a sequel, I guess, because Berseria is a prequel, but Zestaria was made first, so it, technically speaking, it, it's more accurate to call Berseria a prequel rather than Zestaria a sequel. I don't know the exact, like, syntax on how you word that kind of thing. Like, is a game that's made that then has a prequel made for it, is the original game considered a sequel? Or is a game not considered a sequel unless it's, like, made after the fact is a game that comes after? I don't really know how that works. I'd have to, like, look up the super specific definitions of the word. Words, rather. Welcome to Angel's Blessing. Hello. You got some pickaxes? Hey, a pickaxe. A tool with a spiked head used to break up rocks. Thank you. I think I'm also gonna need that rope, he said. Thank you. What's Talisman do? Increases defense by 5%. I'll take that. Thank you. Do do. This actually makes me lose one defense. But over time, because it's percentage based, it will make me gain more defense. So I'm gonna put it on. And then that way you can have this leather cape for a little more defense. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, no one's gonna bite your head off, or at least uh, the only person who would bite your head off over it is some kind of, like, scumbag. If you say, like, oh, yeah, Zestaria, a sequel to Berseria, because you know, technically speaking, it is, yeah. But yeah, it makes more sense to say that Berseria is a, uh, oh my goodness. That hurt my eyes. It makes more sense to call Berseria the prequel. What the... I love that face he makes. Okay, so there's wind there. It's kind of hard to see. What on earth? What are with these birds? How do they do that? Magic and... 
Swallow Dance is not good against flying enemies. It's much better on enemies on the ground that you can knock up into the air and then knock back down. Yatta! I have so many chickens. <laughs>